Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now last week I posted a poll on the community page and you guys voted for transitions. So in this final episode of 2020, I'll be teaching you how to create some super cool transitions inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's open up Premiere and add some clips to our timeline. So our goal for today is to make some cool transitions to go from one clip to the other. Now let's start with a first one. Now from the project panel, go to the new item icon and create an adjustment layer. You can also right click and select adjustment layer. Now place that above the cut between the two clips. Now make it about 10 frames long on each side of the cut. You can easily do this by placing your playhead on the cut and then using the left and right arrow keys to move a frame backward or a frame forward. You can also place a marker by pressing M on the keyboard when you're on the cut. And this is super easy because you know where the middle point of your transition will be. Now from the effects panel, look for the posturize effect and apply that to the adjustment layer. Now let's make an animation with keyframes in the effects controls panel. On the beginning, set a keyframe with a value of 32. Then in the middle, a value of 2. And at the end, another value of 32. Now ease the keyframes, so right click on them, ease in and ease out of course. And this will give you the following result. Now for the next transition, we're going to use the same method with the adjustment layer. So we can simply duplicate our previous one and delete the effect from it. Then we're going to apply the invert effect to this layer. Once again, we're going to make a same animation with the blend with original value. So 100 at the beginning and at the end and zero in the middle. Then we head back to the effects panel and apply the transform effect to our adjustment layer as well. Now back in the effects controls panel, we disable the composition shutter checkbox and set a custom shutter angle of 180 to create motion blur. Then we're going to make a new animation with the position and scale properties. So once again, make a keyframe in the beginning and ending of your clip and in the middle, right above the cut, we're going to change the values so that it zooms a bit. And then we get this result. Now let's do a final transition, which will be the same method once again. This time we're going to use the wave warp effect. Apply it to the adjustment layers and head over to the effect controls panel. The next part is completely customizable, but I'm going for a circular wave type. And I set the wave height and width to your desired look, of course, same as direction, but I like to go for direction of about 145 degrees. The speed I place around 30 and I set the pinning to all edges, but that's of course another property that you can customize to your own likings. Now, of course, you also use visual elements that are on screen to use a transition with a mask. But if you want to learn more about masking and other Premiere Pro or After Effects techniques, I highly recommend watching our Skillshare classes. With the link below, you'll get two weeks of free access to our Skillshare classes. And of course, you can also still participate in the Basics Challenge, where you can win two months for free on Skillshare or a complete Skillshare class to your likings for free. More info about that can be found in the description down below. Happy New Year, everybody. I'll see you in 2021. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>